Today is the final episode of our three-part mini-series, The Top Reasons You Should Move to Tampa, Florida. Now, I just want to get this out early because Tampa is not for everyone. And I'm not someone who's going to come on here and tell you that Tampa is the absolute best place in the world and everyone should live here because I don't believe that. But I do believe that Tampa is for some amazing people, similar to ourselves. And if I sound biased, it's because I am. Almost six years ago, my wife Kate and I sold almost everything we owned, packed up our family of five, headed 1,200 miles south here to the greater Tampa Bay area and have been loving it ever since. Now, like I said, Tampa is not for everyone, but is it an incredible place to call home? Yes. Does it have world-class beaches? Absolutely. Does it have some amazing real estate? 100%. Does it have incredible outdoor activities, amenities galore, and everything a modern city has to offer? And then some? The answer to that is yes also, and we're gonna get into those reasons today. Now, before we get into today's list, I just wanna kinda unpack this a little bit. We've already done the first two parts of this video, and I'll link them up top here and put them down in the description below so you can check those out. We started with the softballs earlier. Now we're making our way into a little bit more complex things. Some of these are unforeseen benefits or top reasons, and actually some of these may be considered cons to you. It just really depends on your lifestyle goals. It's gonna depend on your budget and other things as well. Again, I'm trying to share as objectively as I can because I know that not everything is for everyone. We love where we live and it's made a huge impact on my family, on my career, and honestly, we wouldn't give it up for the world, but we do recognize that it's not going to be the perfect place for everyone. So we wanna get into some of those deeper things today. And the first thing on that list is going to be the real estate market. Because Tampa's real estate market has experienced explosive growth over the last few years, making it a hot spot for sellers, buyers, and investors. And again, that's one of those pros and cons type of thing, right? With the booming economy and a very exciting lifestyle and a steady flow of residents moving to the area, property values have skyrocketed. From luxury condos downtown to spacious family homes in the suburbs, Tampa offers a diverse range of real estate options to suit almost every single lifestyle and budget. And at the time of this recording, the median sales price for here is still really affordable. We're right at the national average, right around $385,000 for a single family home. Now, can you spend multi-millions to live in the Tampa Bay area? Absolutely. Can you spend less than that? You can definitely find condos. And if you're interested in like mobile homes and things like that, you can find those as well. You know, I've seen mobile homes, you know, listed for sale, $50,000, $60,000, which is incredible. Now, is it going to need a bunch of work? <laughs> Absolutely. And it's not my area of expertise. Real estate is, but mobile homes are not. And if you do have more real estate related questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am a licensed realtor. And just this year alone, we've already met with two 280 people who have already moved to the area or who are still considering moving the area as well. All of my contact information is in the description below. The next reason here is one I don't think people talk about enough, and that's how conveniently located Tampa actually is. First and foremost, we've got an incredible airport, which we have covered in one of the other videos here. But I want to talk about the geography. Being on the central west coast of Florida, we have easy access to Orlando. Depending on where you are in Tampa Bay, you can make it to Disney in as little as an hour and a half or as long as two and a half hours, really, depending on where you are. You're only a couple hours from Cape Coral, about two and a half hours away from the Everglades, roughly three and a half to four hours away from Miami. Miami, three and a half to four hours away to Jacksonville and a roughly seven or eight hour drive to Atlanta. I would rather fly, <laughs> but it is easy and convenient in that respect. We're only a few hours away from the Springs. Heck, you can go to Ocala in an hour and a half and really be enjoying some of the most incredible outdoor and wildlife conservation areas, I think, in the entire country. I mean, honestly, here in Tampa Bay, you're never really more than 45 minutes away from an airport. I mean, with traffic, it could get a little crazy. It could take an hour if there's an accident or something, but honestly, even from St. Pete Beach, you can get to Tampa International Airport in about 45 minutes, or you can go over to the Clearwater St. Pete Airport in just about 30 to 35 minutes. You know, you've got SRQ to the south, you've got MCO out in Orlando. There's a lot of opportunity to plug into airports. You know, there's people that will drive all the way over to Miami to catch an international flight if we don't have one here in Tampa, and we have a lot of flights. So again, conveniently located, Tampa's got that. Beyond the vibrant city life here in Tampa, everyone can still enjoy the incredible access to nature. 
We've got some amazing parks here in the Tampa Bay. I have shared a lot on this channel. You know, you go down to Sarasota, you got Nathan Benderson Park, which I think is awesome. They do ski competitions out there, rowing competitions, and you can head down to the Manatee River and there's rowing competitions in there and you can fish off the docks. You can head over to the Gulf Coast beaches like Clearwater and St. Pete and many, many more and do all kinds of activities from dinner cruises to parasailing to skimboarding. I mean, there's literally something for everyone. If you have a specific type of outdoor need, most of those are going to be fulfilled here in Florida and definitely have access to that in Tampa Bay as well. Now, another top reason that may surprise you is there are actually some really nice affordable housing options in the greater Tampa Bay area. Don't get me wrong. Everything is expensive at this point in the United States, but you will be shocked at some of the really good options that are available to you, mostly in the new construction area. There are a lot of competitive builders here. Tampa has built as many homes as areas like Texas and Austin, as an example, and that's really kind of put a lot of extra inventory into the marketplace. And it hasn't crashed our market, but it has definitely put pressure on housing in a downward way. So again, I know you heard earlier that our market is booming, and that's true, but why I'm sharing this is because builders have invested in, in these infrastructures and these communities years ago, back when things were going crazy, and they got to keep their people working. And that's a real benefit for home buyers because they're doing things like incentivizing with incredible interest rates. I mean, I saw a 4.25% interest rate this week on a brand new construction home that was under $400,000 in Tampa. That is incredible. And they were offering $15,000 in closing costs. So, you know, that's new construction as an example. But I bring that up because buying a new home actually is one of the more affordable options. It costs less to own a new home. It's less of a risk from an insurance perspective. Typically, they are built in areas that are higher in elevation than other areas. Also, they're not as prone to flooding. I know it can happen. We just saw it in uh, Lake Ranch, of course, but it is less likely. So that is something that is important. They have great construction standards in the state of Florida. You're going to get a new roof, new air conditioner, new hot water heater. You know, everything in the house is new. So from an insurance perspective, you're way less of a risk, which gives you the best rates possible. So when we talk about affordability, the cost of ownership really needs to go in that conversation. And this is just one area. There are other areas in the States too. You know, if you look at areas like Jacksonville, that is definitely an affordable area as well. And I know we're talking about Tampa Bay, but I'm just giving you guys some options because we do have people that reach out to us and then ultimately decide that areas like Jacksonville or Orlando or Miami are a better fit for them. If you do have that on your radar, just let me know. We have agent partners that we refer other clients to those areas because they've come to Tampa and for whatever reason, they've decided this wasn't it. And we've been able to help them get help in those areas as well. So if you need that, just know you got access to us. Again, all my contact information is listed down below. Now, another top reason is Tampa Bay and of course, Florida is retirement friendly. And when I say retirement friendly, I mean genuinely retirement friendly. You know, we have a lot of people who work for years, finish their careers in other states across the country, work their entire lives, and their plan is to move to Florida, live near the coast. But there are a lot of communities here that are very welcoming. Dunedin was named one of the greatest places to retire in the country. You got areas like Sarasota, you know, you got Clearwater. Some of them are really designed, you know, with active adults in mind. And what I mean by that is like, I would say that younger retiree. And then there are those communities who cater towards, you know, those more senior members of our community, if you will. And also, I love the fact that, you know, most of the areas where, where we go and hang out, you will see a great mix of retirees, working professionals, and even young professionals and families. And I think that's important. Listen, y'all, there is a tremendous amount of wisdom that gets lost if we're not connected into those that have you know, experience and expertise in areas. And I love the fact that I live in a state where I can literally go out to a park, connect with people who have earned their way out of the nine to five and now are, you know, thriving in Florida and thriving here in my community. And, you know, I get to hang out with them and introduce my son to them and have conversations with people who have experiences that I don't. And I think that's wonderful. There are places that, you know, are welcoming to senior residents who want to employ them, just like we have people who want to 
to employ you know our service men and women when i was a kid they used to tell us that florida was god's waiting room and i don't think that florida is anything like that and i know tampa's not as a matter of fact the city of tampa the median age of the resident is 34 36 we just went up to 36 years old that's a young city and then you look at areas like sarasota just to the south of that the median age is 56 so you can get a really nice mix of what you're looking for and i love the fact that you can find all different types of lifestyle here in tampa bay from those active adult communities to again the more senior environments as well to being able to plug in and go hang out with the kids if that's your vibe as well and that's something that tampa bay has to offer in spades one of the things me and my family have come to love and our clients have come to love about tampa is because it has endless possibilities i mean i mentioned the thriving job markets on the other videos the booming economy world-class beaches excellent retired communities and much much more and it's just proof that this beautiful area always has something for everyone and if you're considering making the move to tampa you have more questions do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team like i said all of my contact information is listed down below there's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you i'd love to have a conversation with you about making this relocation a reality even if it's an investment or you're looking to sell locally we're here to serve youtube's gonna put two videos up here it thinks you're gonna love and as always go out and live that tampa life